We are back inside of Minecraft Vault Hunters and today I have actually been busy off camera. Now this is where we left off. We obviously left off with our stuff right here. A few days ago I got a message from Fuzzy saying that the island is complete and as you can see it's over there. Now I have also started to build just so I have a rough version of the base set up and as you can see it is right here. It's a bit hard to showcase but basically what it is is just a circle going all the way around and you can basically loop all the way around from one end to the other. There is a door on both sides that lead us to where our actual portal will be. I will decorate this area a little bit more later on. I've also started the second floor. Now the second floor is going to be the exact same as the bottom. But it's going to be held up by chains, as if like the chains are kind of weighing it down. But we are also going to build something on like the corners to make it look like it's a bit more held up as a structure rather than just floating. But I'll have to wait. So the second floor is basically the same as the first, but it's also a bit different because of the way it's actually set up. The chains, obviously, as you can see, I've done the border of the second floor. There's going to be three floors in total, so I do need to do all of them, which I just done the first floor so I could show you what it looks like. So then I can do the second and third floor kind of on camera, but also off camera. Now, one thing I do quickly just want to do, I have been collecting a lot of budding amethyst because we are going to need a lot of amethyst for the next thing, which I can actually craft up some more if I quickly just do that. There we go. That is now almost three stacks. I think we need four stacks of this in total. But I also think in this video, I want to catch up because most other members on the server are around vault level 30. We are currently level eight. Now we are level eight because I did actually jump into a monolith vault. And as you can see, we have the crate right here. Do we get leggings from this? It doesn't look like it. Uh, we got helmet and this requires me to be level 30. So I can't actually claim these yet. I will give them to someone else. Before we actually jump into a vault though, let's go and get some of our stuff. Because obviously now we do have somewhat of a starter base. We can now move a lot of the items over here. Now let's actually see how many can I actually craft up. I do have some more chromatic iron somewhere. I'm just not too sure. There it is right there. So let's grab some of that. I also need some logs, which we have 25 oak right there. I am going to need them for the floor of the second floor as well. But I can always grab more. It's not really that hard to get a load of oak. So I think this should mean we can make 25. Because I think the actual oak logs is the least we have out of all the resources. And then if I throw them in like so. That is correct. So we want the one by one. Just because they can hold the most items. And with that being said. As you can see I've now removed everything. I have literally just got to remove this final chest. And then we should all be good. Let's quickly just vein mine these chests as well. So they are no longer here. And let's also take the furnace. I'm going to leave the crafting table there. So if anyone needs a crafting table on the main island. I don't think there is another one. But apart from that. We now have everything moved over to our new base. Which obviously the base isn't complete. I will hopefully get it done within this video. Although I'm not actually too sure if I have the resources for it. I have a lot of calcite and also a lot of glass panes. But the oak is what I think I'm going to struggle with. Although that is probably the easiest resource to actually gather. Now, the next thing I need to do is just sort out the rest of this. As you can see, we have storage drawers here. We then also have some double chests here with just a load of junk in that don't fit in the storage drawers. And then around here, we have all of our actual workstations. Now, I do have this living chest for all of the jewels and vault gear. Although this won't last us too much longer, it's obviously better than just throwing them in chests over here. And there we go. I've now actually emptied both of the shulker boxes so we can take them with us. And also all the actual pouches are also empty. So I think we are now ready to jump into a vault. So we can actually get some loot. Knowledge is definitely something I need. Because to actually have this base working. We are going to need the elevators mod. Because I have no way of getting up to the second floors. Without the use of elevators. Let's quickly just see if we can actually get a bounty. So we have one of these to go in. Find four shulker shells. Uh, that could be kind of useful. Complete any vault. That could also be useful. And kill assassin mobs. Now the Beniotype would be good I think. So I think I'm going to go for this one. And let's jump in. I don't think I'm missing anything. Obviously I'm missing leggings. But that's because we don't actually own a pair. I have brought my Elytra this time around. So if we do need to like move around the vault a bit quicker we can. 
It's a monolith one, because obviously monolith is the only thing we can currently get, I believe. And home is east, so we need to remember that. And it's a cave beam, which is something that don't really mean anything. So my main goal is just to loot as much, get as much XP as possible. And hopefully we can get to level 10, if we can, if not higher. Do I have a magnet on? I don't. Okay, I did get a magnet right there. Let's actually roll this and throw this on. I don't know where my magnet went. I might have removed it when building so I could throw some junk items or something. But that is going to have to do. Let's throw that on. And there we go. We now actually have a magnet. And we have also actually already completed the bounty, which is good. So that is that reward we have. We've actually found a room right here. I think I might actually want to loot this. We one hit the actual Vindicators. So I think it should be good if we do loot. Let's quickly just spawn a lot of these in. And then if I just jump up here, they shouldn't actually be able to get me. Although they can throw bricks, I think, because we are in normal mode. As far as I can tell, though, the actual bricks don't do damage. They're just more of a knockback thing to knock you off, like, podiums and stuff like that. So let's quickly just get rid of all of these. Because this is definitely going to be a lot of good loot. We've now actually got a champion right here. But I think I should be good just by throwing that down there. That should get rid of the champion. And I really hope this champion drops me leggings. And the champion's bricks do do damage. Which I do have to be careful of. There we go. We got rid of him anyway. And I don't actually know what he dropped. He dropped the focus. Okay, one of the worst things. I just got an unidentified treasure key from that actual champion. That's insane. I didn't think you could get them that low level. The treasure rooms don't actually show up until like level 50, I think it is. So to get an unidentified treasure key at this level, we're level 8. So it's like, what, 42 more levels until we actually have access to them? That's insane, but that's going to be good. Because then as soon as that actual quest does come up, we can complete it instantly. So I've looted most of that room. I haven't looted it all. Because obviously there are chests that are hidden and too dangerous to get. But this is also the final room within this row. With 10 minutes remaining. I'm hoping we can actually find the final two monoliths to actually complete this vault. And here we go. That is the final monolith we need. I am now just going to run back until we find our portal room. So then we can loot and leave instantly. Because we have, what, four and a half minutes left. And I definitely don't want to die within this vault. Because we've actually got a decent amount of loot. And I definitely do want that monolith crate. Okay, we've actually found this room. Which, we are not going to be able to do this, I don't think. Let's dash to the center to see what it is. Yeah, it's one Omega. So, I don't think we are going to be able to loot this. It would have been really cool to loot it, though. But I think we are just going to have to instantly leave. Uh, let's wait for dash to reset. I think this, our portal room is literally there, but I'm hoping it's not. I'm hoping it's one more room over because I really want to loot one more room. Yeah, I knew it. That is blocked off right there. I guess we could loot this room and then leave, but I'm going to have to give it a decent bit of time because I'm going to have to dash across that room to get back to our portal. But there we go. We are now heading out. I think one thing I am going to do in future is I'm not going to loot the first room. I'm going to run straight past the first room because in cases like this, I could have looted the first room within that time. And then I wouldn't have had to obviously save some time to get back. But we are now back and we have inventory space for the crate. Let's head out. We done pretty well and we did also complete it. 12,000 which gets us up to level, almost level 10. Okay, that's totally fine. We did also have the gilded room and we have also completed the actual bounty which we can quickly just claim. So now let's look at the loot we got within that vault because the loot should be pretty good. We got a key. That is insane. It contains a random treasure key. But Treasure Keys, Divine Paradox Completion Crate, uh, Level 0, and Scavenger Completion Crate. You can get them from Scavenger Completion Crates now. That's really cool. But yeah, these treasure rooms don't actually come into play if I quickly just open up the actual... That's the wrong button. If I open up this, treasure rooms don't come into play. Yeah, Level 50, and then Treasure Keys are after Level 50. So to get that on Level 8, that is really good. We also get a chest piece and a focus. I did also put a pouch in there for some reason. That jewel is also kind of good. It has a legendary vanilla immortality roll. A wooden affinity. That's also really good as that's our first wooden affinity one. And then all the others. I don't think there's anything too good in that shulk box. Inside of here we got another magnet which I will quickly just take. 
and an item quantity roll. Let's also take, I'm not going to roll the treasure key just yet. I'm going to save that for later on. It's not useful to us yet anyway. So I guess there's no point in rolling it. And then now inside of our pouches, let's quickly just see what we got in here. So we got a helmet and then also some other stuff. These chains are also going to be really good because I do need them for building. We also didn't find a single living chest, which is really weird. But let's now roll the actual vault gear we got. We also didn't get a pair of leggings. Leggings, it really don't want to give us a pair of them. Uh, the actual chest piece is not better because I'd much rather the health. The magnet is... Uh, the magnet is actually really better. So let's actually throw that magnet on instead. The focus, I don't like using them. And the helmet is once again not better because of the health. But before we do that, let's open up the actual crates. Let's place that down so nothing goes into there. The other two don't have any pickup upgrades, so it's fine. So first of all that, we knew what was in that. What do these give? Uh, diamonds, that's pretty cool. And then the actual monolith crate, which is what we want. And still no leggings. Okay, it gave us an axe, a jewel... And then also two wands. Uh, it also did give us some more jewels, which they're all kind of rubbish. That gave us diamonds. And then let's quickly just roll these three. And let's see what we actually get from that. So let's actually also throw that bounty pal in there. We got a legendary... Why does that say level 5? There we go. That's actually a really good axe. Fear cloud legendary roll. Uh, I don't like using axes though, because you can't like spam click with them. And you only can hit one mob at a time unless it has like chaining or something. So now quest wise, I think our next quest is to actually unlock this, which requires a lava bucket. So I guess that is what we're going to do. Let's quickly just grab enough iron for a bucket. Do we have any uh, buckets already crafted? I don't think we do. I have just spotted a purple chest, so we are going to quickly just open this. And it has, once again, a lot of emeralds and also netherite and some skulk. I think let's actually take the villagers with us. I would have left them, but I think they're good to take. So there we go. We can actually make that. Perfect. And that can now go over here with the rest of the actual blocks. So let's place that right there. Okay, this is the next quest. Now, this is actually going to be quite difficult to get my hands on. Because I'm pretty sure the recipe for this is like a load of random stuff. So it's this thing right here. Yeah. As you can see, it's two blocks of chromatic steel. It's a smooth stone. It's also a spider eye, never wart. But there we go. We now actually have that as well. Which that can go right there. The next quest from there, I think, is to craft up some burgers. Which it is. And hopefully these burgers should boost us to level 10. So to craft up the burgers, we need patties. And then we also need, let's not put that in there. Uh, let's actually throw them in there and then the villagers as well. So we need, we've got the burgers. We literally just need the patties, which we should have some. Yeah, we do. They are right there. I don't think you need cheese or anything for the plain burgers. You don't. Perfect. And then that is now that quest done as well. The next quest is level 10, which gives us an elixir seal, which we can do, hopefully, by eating these burgers. I could crouch. Let's actually crouch and do it. There we go. Mid-level 10. I didn't really want to eat all them burgers because I wanted to get just above level 10, but I guess it's totally fine. The burgers were only the basic level. That's fine. The game just don't want me to eat. So that's got on us an elixir seal. The next is to apply a seal of the sage to a vault crystal. So that means we do need a actual vault crystal now. So let's do that then, I guess. And we actually have the two salmon. It actually took a lot quicker than I thought. It took four fish attempts. We got two cod and two salmon, which is good. I thought we were going to be there for quite some time. So let's now throw that onto there. Let's then complete this crystal, which now means that we can actually complete the next quest. So we need an anvil. Now, do we have one? I think, yeah, there we go. There is one right there. Let's just throw that there for now. And that is that quest now completed. The next quest is Regretting Decisions, which I think you just need Regret Orb. Uh, we should have one of them. Yep, we have three of them right there. So let's just grab one of them. That is perfect. And that is the wrong button. So that now gives us four. Now, Perfecting Jewels is the next thing. I think the Perfecting Jewels is this one. No, it's not that one, is it? It's Jewel Cutting. Uh, that is doable, I think. 
thing. So that is now placed down. So what is the next thing that we actually need to do? The next thing is the black market. So for that, we need, I think this is actually pretty cheap to craft. Yeah, it was just three blocks. So that is now the black market crafted. Let's also quickly just throw all that away. Oh, with a skull. Maybe we should buy that just because I think they do become useful later on. So we are actually going to quickly just spend our expertise point and that is going to go into Bounty Hunter just because I really like having the two active bounties at a time, which we should be able to get around level 15. Now, I think we are going to jump into another vault just because we need a lot of chromatic iron and also a lot of carbon. Now, chromatic iron is not going to be something we get from this vault, but carbon will be. And it's also going to be the Elixir Vault. So what do we actually need to do, like, quest-wise after? It's literally Identification Stand and then Knowledge. So I guess that's fine. If we maybe hunt for enough knowledge in this vault as well to get knowledge. I guess let's start looting. We're starting off with a big uh, Ornate POI. And there we go. We have now completed this vault. I am going to leave. Let's quickly just place... Can I place these down? Nope. Let's place that block down then. Just so we have room in our inventory for the crate. Hopefully we also got enough knowledge for a actual uh, knowledge star. Also 31,000 XP. That's insane. Objective 18,000. That gets us up to level 12 okay that's pretty good so let's now throw that down right there and i guess let's once again do this where we empty our inventory we now have our inventory emptied let's also go and claim the bounty that does also get us a pair of leggings which is good but i think we did also get a pair of leggings from the actual vault as well so let's just look at the loot we got we got yeah a pair of leggings right there then also nothing else. There's a jewel. Wooden affinity is quite high though. Inside of this one we got a pair of boots. And once again nothing too major. We will sort that all out afterwards. Inside of this one we got two more jewels. Uh, nothing too good. Okay there's four jewels. Once again nothing that good. And then inside of here we got 27 knowledge. Also they're going to be really good for our building. We did also, how much of the actual carbon did we get? We got some right there, then also 27 right there, uh, another stack, another stack in 37, and then also 17. Okay, so we got a decent amount. I don't know if it's enough for what we actually need. Let's now open up these to see what we get from these. Uh, chest piece and leggings, and then also some bronze. Now the actual completion crate, we got... We got a augment for sea floor. That's also really good. And we got like four pairs of leggings. It is always the way. When you don't have something, you don't get it. But then when you get one of them, it gives you like eight. Which let's actually quickly just... We don't have an identification stand just yet. So that is half of them. And no matter what, a pair of leggings will be good. Because we don't have any. They're three armor, but nothing else really that good. They're four armor and three health. So they're the best ones currently. Uh, they're good. Okay, they're really good. Four armor and three health and then also some item quantity and item rarity. Although we do have some more to roll. They're not really that good. They're okay. Uh, the chest piece is not better than our current one. Let's also grab the boots and that sword so we can get rolling them while we look at the last two. Uh, nine attack damage. Our current one is way higher, so that is not good. And that helmet is not as good as our current one. Leggings, two health, once again, not that good. Uh, boots, they're better in armor, but I would much rather the health. And sword, 12 attack damage. Uh, that is 0.5 more. I think that's a good time to end off doing the quests though. And I think I want to now work on the base a little bit. We've caught up not really that high. We are level 12. But I will obviously do some more off camera or maybe in the next video. But we will obviously catch up a little bit more. Now, I want to complete this. So, I actually have the chains on the singular blocks and then on these corner blocks. And there we go. It is now connected up in the middle. So, the next thing I think is just to put the floor in, which the floor is going to be oak. And I did collect a lot of oak. Where has it gone? Here it is. We have over a stack. So, let's just make all that. I don't actually think this is going to be enough. Now, the floor of the downstairs is actually made out of, I think, slabs. But we can't do slabs for this second floor because otherwise you'll be able to see it from below. I used all of the actual oak we have. And I've only done just over half. So, we have got a lot more work to do. 
I think what I will do though is I will put like some trap doors or something over this so from the bottom you can't see the oak because I do think it does look kind of weird but that's nothing that we need to decide right now. The next thing I'm going to do I'm going to leave the actual outside of it for now because now all we really need to do is just do the rest of the floor which I need to jump into a raw vault for to get some oak wood. And then I just need to do the glass panes, which the glass panes are going to be just like the bottom. And now if we head down, you kind of get what it will look like. It will look like this all the way around. I was going to have a third one, like a third floor on top of this. But I don't think I want to do that now, just because I like the two. And originally this centerpiece was meant to be a lot bigger. But I think I like it the size it is. Now I want to do some of the work on the inside right here. So let's quickly do that. So this inside is going to be themed. And there we go. That is all we can actually do with the actual blocks we have. I've done one side right here and half of this side. Now, if you can't tell, I don't actually like how the middle looks. Because where they actually combined, I might make the portal frame a three block long. Just so then it looks a little bit better the way the actual blocks meet in the center. Or I could make them stop off around here. And have these blocks as this. But I don't know what would look better. For now we are just going to leave it like that though. And if you can't tell. It's actually themed off the vault gods colour. As you can see yellow, green, blue and red. Which we have all around. Because I want to make it seem like this actual portal. Is obviously powered by whatever the vault gods power is. Now these crystals are not just going to be on the floor. They're also going to be like little tiny piles in the corner. And then also I think we are going to have some coming from above to make it look like the vault gods are obviously making the building float and stay here. And one more thing I actually wanted to know, can these connect diagonally? So if I have something like that, they don't connect because I really wanted to have it so they were like there were some here that were diagonally connecting to the portal to make it look like the portal was being like held up. But that doesn't seem to work. I wonder if there are any chains that do connect diagonally. Kind of like how rails work. Now I've just made 40 of these. I think these give off. Yeah they do give off a light by default. So you don't need to power them. So now if I quickly just jump below. I'm using these just because I like the top of them. As you can see that's what it looks like. And they're not that expensive to craft. They just use some iron. Now we haven't done it all. There is still a lot more that I need. But that's because I do need to craft up some more of them. So let's now quickly just head above. And okay we're being a bit newbie. So there we go. That is what it looks like. Now obviously it's daytime. So it wouldn't be noticeable. I like how it looks underneath. It looks kind of like it's a checkerboard pattern. So I guess the best way to test this is when it becomes night to see if obviously it looks good. But I think that is where we're going to end this video. To see what it looks like at night time you have to tune into the next video. I'm going to try and collect some more of this and also I'm going to collect some more oak planks so we can complete the floor up there. I think, uh, let's quickly just check, does this spawn in raw vaults? I'm pretty sure it does. Yeah, as you can see it does which is good. So we can get it from normal chests. We don't have to go into actual vaults to obtain that, which is good. So once again, if you did enjoy, do leave a like and subscribe. And I guess I'll see you guys in another one very soon. We are getting somewhere with our base and I hope to have this finished within the coming hours. I'm going to sit on and farm up some resources. Hopefully in the next video, we'll be able to have this completed. But anyway, I'll see you guys then. Bye.